this is a pancreatic mass in an elderly man. And depending on whether you see a lot of these or not, it may or may not constitute a challenge. So lots of stroma, right? And then I'm going to show you, in fact, if you look at these stromal fragments, they don't really have very many cells in them. And then there are all these detached clusters of cells. They have tall columna atypical cells, right? So tall columna cells, fairly well polarized, not very pleomorphic. Some of them have clear cytoplasm at the periphery. Here you go again. In fact, some of them almost look like goblet cells, don't they? There are areas in which there are pools of mucin. And here you go again. So fibrosis or desmoplasia, depending on how you look at it. And so the question is, what is your diagnosis? This, of course, turns out to be an invasive pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, but I just wanted to hit upon some highlights of these EUS guided biopsies. They're great. There's a lot of material. But what often happens with pancreatic adenocarcinomas is that a lot of it is composed of desmoplastic stromal reaction. And the neoplastic epithelium, instead of being embedded, as is often the case, tends to separate out from the fragments. Instead, what you end up seeing are these tall columnar cells, some of them bearing mucin, beautifully polarized, which gives you that very benign feeling, particularly when you do not have significant cellular atypia and when you do not have pleomorphism. This is not an IPMN. This is not PANN. This is not any such thing. All of these fragments are actually pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. Now, you could certainly make a diagnosis based on that solely, but it is helpful when you see smaller glandular profiles, particularly angulated glandular profiles like this. But there are certainly cases that I've seen over the last few years that may not have these small glands. Instead, all you have are these detached epithelial strips of malignant epithelial cells. This is all adenocarcinoma as well. That small glandular profile, particularly when it is not organized in an in a organoid pattern, is essentially adenocarcinoma until proven otherwise. These, interestingly enough, are completely benign glands. And it's nice to compare these glands, which are completely benign, from the, with these glands that are malignant, even though there isn't that requisite pleomorphism that we often see with pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma. I think this necrosis is helpful as well, and of course, might make you consider a benign process. So bottom line, this is an EUS guided biopsy from a pancreatic ductal adenocarcinoma, rather well differentiated with a large number of stripped cancer cells.